Okay, guys, so um, I have to talk to you guys about an interview that came out on Saturday. So, you know, here at Housewives Relatable, we have uh, friends of the podcast, people that I talk to on a regular basis that message me just to wish me well. And sometimes say, hey, Stella, you know, I would like you to cover this or what's your opinion on this or that or the other. So um, I've said it m many, many, many times. I love interacting with people that listen to um, the podcast. So that being said, um, the friend, uh, my friend of the podcast, <laughs> reached out to me and said to me, hey, Stella, you know what? Um, did you listen to this interview on Saturday? And I was just like, which interview? She's like, you know, that podcast, right? Did you listen? There's a particular girl that is on. So because this person's a friend of the show um, and always brings me some very good um topics or like things that she's passionate about and I'm just like okay you know what um let me go check let me go see and to be honest with you I've said this before I I do not listen to that podcast on a regular basis I used to listen to it when Kim D was on that was the only reason why I used to listen to it on YouTube on Saturdays but now that she's left I don't really care for the Saturdays right but um that's just me that's not any shade or anything like that it's the truth right I know that Kim D was not right most of the time and I've said this <laughs> I've said this many times right so it's not necessarily about the tea that she was bringing I just I just thought that she was very entertaining to listen to okay but here's the thing I have a few things that I need to say when it comes to all of that so I went and listened to the, sh the, um, the episode on YouTube I think it started with a couple parts and then he added more and he had this woman, um, Nicole Quaresquillo, um, on his show that was determined to tell the truth about what she thinks she may know about Melissa Gorga, right? So I'm not going to go into all of it when it comes to what she was talking about, this girl, because you can just go and listen to his interview. Uh, I think there's a few views under his video um, because it is scandalous, right? However, I have to say that I've read in the comments, not just the YouTube comments, but the ones that are also on Twitter and other social media, you will see some people will be in favor of him doing this, but there's also a lot of people, I didn't count now, guys, okay? So I can give you like a percentage, but I'm gonna say this. I was happy to see that there were a, like a substantial amount of people commenting um, on Twitter, on Instagram and on YouTube and saying they do not care about that story. They don't care about what Melissa Gorga did or did not do 10 years ago. And I was happy to see that because it means that, you know what, it gives you a little bit more faith in humanity when you see people say, you know what, are we just going to keep on crucifying a person for mistakes that they have done when they were young or may have not done right at this point? Uh, this is something that has been out there since season four. Um, I mean, they brought everyone to try to expose Melissa back then. You know, they brought Angelo. They brought Kindy. Kindy set it up. Teresa was in on it. There was like a lot of stuff going on. And still nobody was able to prove that it was true, right? So at this point, I don't really understand why 10 years later a person would come out. And by the way, guys, this person just had a baby, this Nicole girl, okay? She just had a child. I don't know if anyone, well, I, I definitely know that people that are listening to my podcast, um, some of you have children. I have children. I know that the person on YouTube, the host, does not have children, right? So maybe in his mind, that was like total, like total, like normal behavior. But after birthing a child, um, putting the truth out there is not right up there in my priori priority list, you know, because she was like, the reason why I'm doing this, it's because I need to uh, put the truth out there because my people in Hollywood are suffering because she's a casting agent. And guys, we are going to get into that. Okay. Um, 
she's a casting agent and she's saying my people in Hollywood are suffering and they're not making any money right now because of the strike and you have this person like Melissa Gorga who is not being truthful and you know making tons of money off of being on a reality TV show so this is like something that is like a priority for this girl and she just had a baby just that in itself should tell you a little bit about her frame of mind you know not the right priority baby girl not the right priority so another thing that I'm gonna say is um, and that is just I'm just speculating here okay because after listening to her interview um, well, first I, I wrote about it. So I, I wrote something on Saturday and it's on the Substack. Um, if you guys have not joined the Substack, please do. I cannot stress it enough. Um, it's another way for me to express myself. So it's at housewivesrelatable.substack, S-U-B-S-T-A-C-K.com. Okay. So I wrote an article about that and it's called the lion does not turn around when a small dog barks. That's that article. Okay. So anyways, um, so I was listening to this girl talk and uh, she was saying that, you know, this guy, Angelo, and she praises him so much. She's just like, oh, he's such a great guy, you know, and he lost everything and, and all of that. And I'm like, yeah, great guy. Okay. Yeah. Like anyone who is willing to do these types of things and come on a reality show and try to expose someone i don't know how great they are okay and i'm not just saying that because it's melissa i would say that if it was done to Teresa, i have absolutely no respect for these types of people i, I find them despicable you know um and I'm not talking about people that want to come on and tell their story because something really bad happened, something morally reprehensible happened. You know, like obviously a person who would want to come on, like, um, you know, in the case of Jen Shah, a person that has lost all of their life savings, wanting to talk and say, this is what this person has done to me. And this is like a legitimate scam, like they're trying to scam people, of course, right? Or if someone says that, well, so and so did something to me at some point in time when I was part of like some sort of ring or assault or, you know, I'm not talking about these, these, these things guys. And it annoys me to even have to mention that because to me, it's kind of like, it's like, it's understood already, but obviously there's, there's going to be some people coming on under my comments and tell me like, Oh, so you condone people acting like, of course I do not. I'm not talking about that. Like most people do not fit in that category of people. That's the 5% that I always talk about that. I don't think there's nothing that can be done with these people, right? I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about mistakes that people do, right? It's like that friend that you have that you're super close with. And then at some point in time, something happens between the both of you and that friend decides that she's going to go and spill all of your secrets. I have no respect for people to do that. I don't. I don't. I don't care who they are. I don't care if they come in the, in the, in the frame of uh, Laura or in the frame of Angelo. I don't have any respect for people that do that. I don't think it's necessary, right? And those people are only doing that because, you know, Melissa is on a hit reality TV show because Margaret is on a hit t reality TV show, right? So anyways, I digress when it comes to all of that. So anyways, that girl, I went back after writing my little article, I went back to look at um, that episode, and don't quote me on that, guys, but I think she might have been at the Posh Fashion Show. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because obviously I looked up her profile um, on Instagram and um, I looked at several pictures of her because there's a lot of pictures of her out there. She's a casting agent. Again, we're going to get into that soon. But um, there's a woman behind Tim D. You know, we see this woman two times. So at the end of the fashion show, Kim D tanks, like she's thanking everyone and she's saying, oh, thank you. We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun, everybody. We're going to dance the night away. And there's a girl right behind her, a brunette, like with really, really dark hair and, um, you know, a sizzled jaw. 
right? So uh, very pretty, the girl that was behind, right? So I was just like,